360 stands for 360 degree feedback or multi-source feedback. And the idea is that everybody around you, so 360 degrees around you, um, sources of assessment. So people rate you, everybody, your peers, your subordinates, your uh, boss, provide certain ratings on your behavior, skills, competences and personalities. The value of 360 feedback is that it overcomes the limitations or weaknesses associated with just single ratings or just single views on your personality. So if we just ask one person who you are or what they think of you, you know, they might be biased, but if we ask five, six, seven people, and that includes your peers, your subordinates, your bosses, then we really get a much more robust picture of who you are. Okay, so the Hogan 360 is a powerful tool when used in combination with the Hogan personality assessments because the Hogan personality assessments tell us a bit about why leaders do what they do. So what are their inherent tendencies, what are their natural preferences? But then the Hogan 360 is quite a useful and insightful assessment in that it now comes in and tells us a bit about what are the behaviours that other people are actually seeing. 360 data can be used to improve self-awareness by presenting managers or test takers with uh, uh, discrepancies or highlighting the kind of inconsistencies between their self-views and how other people see them. They can also be used to predict performance because they are a really good and integrated, comprehensive view of people's reputation. Hogan 360 can be used to develop a leader. It can be used to profile an entire organization or an entire department to actually find out what are the department's strengths and opportunities to improve. It can be used as part of the performance appraisal process for a leader as well. And in addition to that, the Hogan 360 can be used as part of succession planning and talent management programs as well.